Good weather, sponsored by Med Center Health. Well, the hot topic today is the hot weather. We've seen the heat alerts across our viewing area. Hopefully everyone's staying cool outside. Yes, yeah, so definitely want to take these seriously. It can only take a minute so for any of the heat exhaustion mm -hmm. to set in. So make sure you're staying hydrated, uh, wearing light, loose layers if you're outside. And if you do have to be working outside in this, unfortunately, Make sure you're just taking multiple breaks inside yeah. if you're able to in some kind of air conditioning because it can be dangerous. Sunscreen and outside. water too. Yes, absolutely. That's what I like to talk about this time of year. Just yeah. make sure you keep your sunscreen nearby. It's going to continue to be hot even as we head through tomorrow, but we do have that caution day through the overnight tonight as those temperatures are really not getting much relief as we head into the overnight. The low temperature tonight only getting down to 76. So the main threat will be dangerous temperatures as we head into the overnight hours. Taking a look at Elkton right now, staying sunny, very few clouds as we look across your region right now. As we look into the next few hours or so, we'll continue to stay hot, 95 degrees now, maybe even warming up as we head into the 5 p.m. hour, staying warm even as we head into 8 p.m. And once again, those heat index values will stay hot as we continue into the rest of the evening. Here's a look at those heat alerts. This will be in place until 8 p.m. tonight for that heat advisory. That's for the entire WBKO viewing area. So some of those heat indexes could be 105 degrees or above even as we head through the next few hours. Here's a look at your temperatures right now. Many of us in the 90s, 93 here in Bowling Green, 93 in Russellville, and everybody else just sharing some of those 90s as we head throughout the rest of the evening as well. Feels like temperatures 103 in Russellville, 105 in Greenville, even 108 in Hoptown. So just a very warm as you're stepping out the door on this Friday evening. Just not a great time for any of those Friday plans. Wind speeds right now not really giving any relief, making it feel more like a convection oven if you're stepping outside with some of those between 5 and 10 miles an hour this evening. And now as we look ahead to Saturday morning, if you have any plans, the morning time is the best time to do any of those because that's when we'll have the coolest temperatures. Your coolest hour will already be at 80 degrees by the time we hit 7 a.m. So if you have any plans, maybe get those done before we're already at 93 degrees by the time we hit 11 a.m. So already heating up quickly by the time we move in tomorrow. Here's a look at Doppler Max right now. Not too bad as we head into the evening hours, but just not a lot of relief as we head over the next couple of days. As you can see, some of these heat advisories as well as warnings across the region the next seven days, we will get some relief as we head Monday into Tuesday with some of those cooling dew points as well. We'll have a few rain chances, but not looking great as we head over the next week or so. Just some of those pop up style thunderstorms that we usually see here in the summer with some of those higher heat and humidity. But Monday looking like the best day to get outside with those cooler temperatures, lower humidity as well as a low chance for rain. Allie.